Hi, everyone. Um, so I thought I was going to have to do this Friday. Get to do it on my day off. Even better. Um, so we got the official video for uh, Pokemon Sun Moon that was coming out this week. We we're supposed to get. I don't know exactly when the time frame is at this point. When we were supposed to get it, or if this was when we were supposed to get it. Point is, we got it now. And uh, it did spoil. It did show a lot of stuff that was already spoiled. Unfortunately, we got those screenshots uh, that kind of ruined some stuff. But it's still interesting to go over, and I wanted. To, I didn't want to do those screenshots, even though it was pretty much confirmed. Uh, but also, people were getting some. Uh, the, the, the Pokemon sites were. The Pokemon site was kind of going out to people who were talking about it and using uh, screenshots and stuff. So I wanted to wait. Um, but you no, know, we got it. I got my phone here, so we're going to uh, talk about it. now. First one we got is that fish uh, is uh, it com officially confirmed to be called Wishy Washy. Uh, it's pretty much based off of Sardine, and its ability schooling is more or less when it hits a certain level, it, it can't use its ability until it has a certain level, which is actually uh, shown, or shown, explained in the uh, <clears throat> description, and there's Wishy Washy. He's a cute little guy. Wait, there we go, focus, there we go. He's a cute little guy. <laughs> and he turns into this. And as they explain in its description, um... Is that single Wishiwashi is teeny me uh, meek, measuring eight inches, small even by Pokemon standards. Uh, when it's in danger, eyes uh, glist, catch the light and shine, sending an SOS. Wishiwashi that encounter many dangerous situations have a lot of experience in calling their allies and will be able to emit a bright light from their eyes. Meaning that the Wishiwashi wishy form basically is not something that can be normal or uh, school form. It's built. It can't be used until Wishiwashi has gained a certain amount of experience in battle. And they, as it put, goes to say, uh, even Gyarados flee from Wishy Washy school form, which you can see uh, in the battle for in the trailer here that, um, and uh, you can just have the trailer up. You'll know what I'm talking about. You can see in the trailer that when Wishy Washy actually goes into school form, it is more or less the size of a Gyarados. It is huge in that sense, uh, and it seems to have a, and it does seem to have a bit of a submarine design. So, yeah. And, I've just got the trailer up right now. It goes into schooling form. You know, Taxi Uh Then we have the sea cucumber. Puki, excuse me. Puku, Puku Muku is the official name of it. Puku Muku, which, yeah, pukes in there a little bit. The name, the word puke is in there. And its ability is entered out. Pretty much just does damage to, it's like Aftermath. It does damage to, uh. An opponent when it passes when it faints but as they put it it's a sea cucumber pokemon yeah the sea cucumber pokemon uh when they find a spot they like they stay there they uh they even they'll even die there when the food runs out they'll always keep coming back to it don't understand the logic behind that but whatever uh and if they don't like their spines being touched they'll punch enemies with their inner organs which apparently in this case it's not as gross as it seems that is, is being made out it seems to be just what looks like white cotton coming out. That's all it looks like. So, yeah, that's that's the sea cucumber Pokemon. Nothing really, um, nothing amazing to go off of from that. It's just it's the sea cucumber Pokemon. Uh, Minior got or the Minior fought in the trailer got hurt by its uh, throwing up. And then we got our new Pokemon, an actual new new Pokemon. Moril. It's either Morlul or Morilul. Uh, Morilul. I think it's more law, probably. A grass fairy mushroom Pokemon. Oh, by the way, uh, the cucumber is uh, water type. That was confirmed. Um, Morlal is the illuminating Pokemon. It's pretty much it's um, it's a nocturnal Pokemon. Oh, but uh, why am I keep going to the thing? It's um, I'll just get that out there for people to see. <laughs> so there's our cute little mushroom Pokemon. We actually have several mushroom Pokemon. So a new mushroom Pokemon is nothing amazing. But it's a grass fairy type, and it is kind of cute. It's an illuminating mushroom. So basically, as they describe it, it's nocturnal. Uh, they walk around the root legs at night, because if they stay in one spot more than for too long, they'll suck the soil out, and plants will die. So they're actually very nature conscious. They're very health conscious of their environment. Uh, Morlal uses its legs like roots to make contact with its fellows, to communicate with them, broadcasting spores that glow brightly when they burst open. Looking at their pul uh, pulsing light has a spore a sporific effect, okay? I mean, it has effect spore. What does effect spore do, anyway? Um, contact, you may paralyze sleep, or, okay, contact will do, has 10% chance of doing something. Uh, looking at their pulsing light has a spore. So if that seems in danger, it broadcasts with these spores. So, 
it's a mushroom. It's it's a glowing mushroom. It's cool. Whatever. Uh, but then we also have a one our Alola forms. Now we have officially we have the Alolan Meowth and Marowak spoiled on this uh, one. And as they describe it in here, and I don't think you really need the coral, you need it up there. But look, um, there's the Meowth looking all. Tell me that doesn't look at least a little feminine. I'm so, I'm not I'm not I'm not trying to stereotype anything, but doesn't it look female? I, I don't know. I mean, it's got it's got to be the way it's handling itself. You know, also it doesn't have the thin, the belly that Meowth does, and its eyes the way its eyes look it almost looks like it has eyeliner. That might be where I'm getting it from. But Meowth is a Pokemon that is not originally from Alola. Shocker! They went to see they were sent to the royal line as an offering from another region, and only a select few could have them as partners. The Meowth, yeah, Meowth and Alola are distinct for their cunning and great pride. Two things they. Really hates a wound to their pride and dirt on the coins. If either one happens, they fly into hysterics. It's said that Meowths that were offered to their royal family lived life of luxury and pampering, which led them to have a selfish and prideful attitude. Selfish and prideful attitude? No! Just, no! Selfish and prideful. Oh, where did you get that idea from? <laughs> uh, which led them to this caused Meowth to uh, form change. The once rare Alola Meowth became feral, and when the monarchy was destroyed, interesting. Uh, and they now have that. that not only is that interesting, that's not just interesting for Meowth and its description, that's interesting for the story of Alola. Because remember, Kalos had a, a, a noble, a, a royal family, and they don't anymore. What happened to the royal family here? I'm curious to know. Uh, now, coming over Alola elsewhere. Anyway, then we have Alola Marowak. The old Marowak in Alola region take bones and light uh, and light both ends on fire by rubbing them against their foreheads. They spin around the bone and spin the bone around. Marowak's rarity and its fearsome appearance when it dances with its bones led the people of Alola to dub it the Conjurer and regard it with fear. There are many grass type Pokemon, and Marowak's natural enemies makes sense. Uh, people, uh, I was hearing some people speculating on what its natural enemy would be that would turn to a fire ghost type. Uh, uh, this makes Alola a harsh environment for Cubone and Marowak. As a result, they live in close union with their partners. Uh, they, uh, it's said that they take great care of their partners. Allow, uh, there's me, there's me. It's said that their great care for their partners allowed them to gain something like a sixth sense, resulting in their changed form. The Alola Marowak proved skillful uh, and to. Proves skilled at attack in which it waves of bone and releases flame balls. Uh, the fireballs are not that powerful, but they are tirelessly they tirelessly pursue the foe. So they're homing balls. That's kind of cool. And it's cursed body and lightning rod. Um, see, that doesn't specify though whether Cubone gets an alolan form because obviously what we have here with Raichu in just a second, um, the little cream puff guy who's adorable. What we have here with Raichu is that uh, Pikachu and Pichu, we've seen from the trailer, do not have an Alola form. Raichu does have an Alola form. Does it? How it, does it? You still need a Thunderstone? Does it evolve differently? We don't know. But what it says is, just because an evolution Pokemon has an Alola form, does not mean that their pre-evolutions do. So, it, now that being said, yeah. uh, now that being said. Um, Cubone, the, from the what description I'm getting there, it does sound like Cubone might have an Alola form based on the Predator thing. Especially if Marowak's the tougher of the two. Um, so, I, it, it would also be odd for, to go immediately from a ground type to a solid um, uh, fire ghost type. What they they either are both fire ghost or Cubone's like a fire go, a fire ground type. But it, I don't think, it, and not because so far nothing from these low forms hints that um, the only the only one that's uh, from what we've seen that uh, changes a type completely is um, Alolan Executor, or Alolan uh, Execute. As far as I can tell, Alolan Execute. There's nothing different about Alolan Execute, um, or there's nothing different about Execute in Alola. It still looks like it's a, a psychic uh, grass type. We'll have to see eventually in the game, but it still looks like that. But still changes its psyche to a dragon type. A type does change. So that I think is possible, but just going straight from ground to ghost fire, I don't think that's the case. I do think that uh, 
Cubone has an Alola form, but I did not include it when I redid my count today. Last but not least, we have Alolan Raichu, who is an adorable little cream puff. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> Any, wait a minute, wait a minute, there we go. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> Don't you just want to eat him up? Um, and they even say that people, they, uh, their own right to has two types of electric and psychic, and no one knows um, that they can gather psychic powers on their tail and ride on them and float in the air. No, Pokemon researchers don't know why Raichu's form changed, and they even says, they guess they ate too many sweets and fluffy round pancakes. It can release um, a sweet aroma from them by uh, its electric sacs by rubbing its cheeks together. <laughs> so the mechanism behind it is not clear, but it's thought to be connected with its psychic powers. Uh, my psychic ability, I will make cream puffs! Mmm, cream puffs. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, um, supporting characters, where is my team skull? Okay, I'm gonna have to go back just real quick. Uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to wrap this video up. So we got team skull, we don't know their, uh, background. All we know, really, is that, uh, their leader, Guzma, uh, tried to be, tried to become a, um, island champion at one point, and it didn't work. So, and they look cool, I mean, they got a, they had, a, like, dubstep playing in the trailer, which is weird, but, uh, yeah, that's my thoughts on that, uh, just to sum it up. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And we'll, I'll see you later today for a few other videos.